Hi, this is lesson number 40 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create half tone effect on grayscale image in Photoshop. Here we have an image and we are going to create this beautiful effect on this picture. Let's open the layer palette and this is the thumb of the image. Generally, when we are editing the image, we duplicate the original this way and we work with the copy. So, original will remain safe, but in this case it is not applicable because we are going to change the image mode to grayscale and it will affect all the layers control Z. So, in this case we will duplicate the canvas. This is my original image. I will just right click here and click on duplicate. So, here is the copy click OK click and drag. So, you can see this is original and this is the duplicate. We can close the original that is not affected anymore and we will work with the duplicate and this file we can save after applying effect. This is medium size image. Let us open the image size dialog box right click here and click on image size or you can go to image menu and click on image size. Here is the size 552 by 697 pixel and our image resolution is 72. This is the original size we need to maintain after applying half tone effect. So, the first step is to turn the image to grayscale. Go to the image menu and here we have mode. Click on grayscale. This message dialog box pop ups. Here Photoshop is suggesting that you will be having better control on grayscale image if you use this setting. You go to the image menu adjustment and use black and white. Since we are not going to make any adjustment in our grayscale image, I can discard and simply our image is grayscale. To make it little bit more contrast, we can use label command. Click on image adjustment and here we have label move this slider forward and slightly back from the right side. Click OK. Once again click on image mode and here you can see now the bitmap it is enabled. Before it was just gray. It will work after applying grayscale mode. Now we can click on bitmap and here is the resolution of our original image. Previously we checked it was 72 pixel per inch, but we are not going to use the same resolution. If we will use same resolution Photoshop will apply 72 pixel per inch on our half tone and the image will be mess up. Here click on half tone screen. We will leave as it is later we will change click OK. Under half tone screen frequency we will make it 1 and angle 0 one line per inch, zero degree and shape we can choose ellipse. Click OK, but you can see that our image is messed up. It is because of the resolution. Let us go back control Z. Once again click on image mode, click on bitmap and this time we will increase the numbers. Let us apply 1000, half tone screen is selected, click OK leave all setting as it is and click on OK. The half tone effect is applied. It is beautiful, but once we will see the size of our image, right click, go to image size. Since we increase the resolution, the width and height is changed. There is another way if you want to maintain the same size of the image with the half tone effect. Instead of changing the pixel per inch, we can change the frequency. So, the first thing do not forget to duplicate your canvas. I am going to repeat these steps again. Image mode grayscale control L also you can press from the keyboard or you can click on image adjustment and level. Slightly move forward and from the right we can move it back this way. Click on image mode bitmap. Here output we are not going to change this time. Method half tone screen click OK. Here we will 
change the frequency previously i did so the number is there for this image 10 is a good frequency angle will be the same i will choose ellipse and click ok after an effect is applied and the image size is still same if i will right click image size that was our image size 552697 with 72 resolution using this method you don't need to change the image resolution under bitmap properties all what you have to do is to change the frequency and that's all try to apply this beautiful effect on your images but make sure that you are not working with the original just open in photoshop right click and duplicate the image and work with the copied image later on you can save it with a different name that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson if you like this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time i upload new video thank you